side still. My fault. Keep one again. Good. Now on the ride. Oh, right away. See the difference? Yep. Well, he did. See, all he did was bring his right leg forward, and all of a sudden the hook's back. Do me a favor. Shut the load when doing inside out, leading with the right leg. Let me see you do that. I'm going to start in the middle. You start here and then shuffle. Yeah, shuffle over. Now leave with the right leg. See, that's what it should look like. See what the point I'm yep. making? This is important because yep. what if, if, he, if he lays back and just does a step out, it won't happen. He's got to leave with that right leg and go step. forward. And then he yep. still gets the hip action, so he's getting both. Yep. And then the second He wasn't getting much hip action at all. There was no rotation. It was all arm and loop. But he can't. Yeah. If he's square, he can't. He's got to be open to get that. So he's got to lead with his right leg to do that. But the other thing is he's got to pay attention whether it's high or low. So he does the windshield wiper high, the hook, and the low. Right. But the full work's exactly the same. Did you feel that? Yeah. How's it feel? How's the power on that? Can you see the hook on the ball? Yeah. Hook will always happen when you're leaning forward. Hook can never happen when you're leaning back. That it's impossible. Think of, think of golf. Good drivers are tilted back, right? When they hit a knockdown. Yep. Same principle. Yeah, I knew it was his body position not being in, but it's hard to get him to do it, John. But it's, 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 on, it's on the yep. leg. Yep, uh, that was the key. We're, I didn't talk about that at all. I just said get closer to it. We just touched upon this maybe one or two times before. So yeah. This is something he has just got there. We just got to trigger it. Yeah, it's not in his muscle memory, that's okay. for sure. All right, here we go. Deep ball. Step out. Let me see that again and wait for a little bit. Hit it hard. Come over. Get the racket higher. That's it. There you go. So there's two things you got to think about. One is whether you're going back to step out. The other is whether you're going forward to lead. The second thing is whether it's low to hit or it's high to win your work. So there's two things you got to think about. You've got to pay attention to that too. If it's a high bounce, he shouldn't always lay back and arc that. He should step and do the windshield wiper too and, and cream them. Yep. There's no reason to lay back on that ball. Yep. Okay. Deep ball. Good. Raise your racket though. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, what do I mean by raise the racket? Why? So that you so can do what? You can hit down. Yeah. Raise. Good. So raise it again. Raise it up there. There you go. Good. See the hook on that thing? Yeah. Beautiful. That's it. How's that feel? Good. You see the look of the ball now? Yeah. See, by leading with your right leg, now you're getting green, but you're also getting a hook at it. And by getting the lean, it's forcing you to hook the ball. Let me see you run around the backhand again. Run around it. Perfect. Just get to the left a little bit more. Okay. Run around it. Clear your body. There you go. See the left now? Yep. So would you have to get on the video? What's that? First one, I was like jammed on it. Because you didn't get away enough. Yeah. Right? This isn't the correct way. This is why you didn't get away. Right. Look at me. You see the difference? Yeah. Why do I shuffle instead of run backwards? Because if you're going to hit Right. So you're going to lose your balance. Right. If I ever see someone do this, I never cover the inside out. Because you know they're going to miss it. They're going to miss it. And that's what happened too, didn't it? Right, yeah. So what's the key full work there? Shuffle away. Lead with the right leg. See, that's the key, Ted. Okay. Shuffling away. And then once he does that, lead with the right leg. So he gets the lean and the hip rotation. And then also pay attention to height. Right. You gotta get out of just tilting back on these. You gotta stay up in there and take them high. Punish it. Okay? Alright. Now, forehand. Okay. We'll be back in in a minute. That's it. Good. Very good. Much better. Sorry, Ted. Okay. okay. Yeah. How's that feel? Good. Okay, I'll mix it up now. Fall forehand. Good. Okay. 
Now you're getting it. Much better. There you go. See, you love with the right leg. You see how low the ball's staying now? I think the right leg was the key. I couldn't figure the key. I couldn't come up. I kept saying, lean forward, take it earlier. Don't take it so late and lean back, but I couldn't get him to. The message today is to lead. You're right. You're 100% right, but lead with the proper leg. Yep, that That's was the, the right key I couldn't get. The right leg on the forehand, the left leg on the backhand. Got it. We don't do that anymore. We don't do any square except on slicing. We lead with the other leg for topspin and, and drive. Okay. The pros aren't even doing that early anymore. You don't see the pro squaring up anymore. No. They're leading with the other leg and doing it, so they get the lead. And right. the hip turn. So they don't want to lose the hip turn, because that's where a lot of power is. Yeah, he wasn't getting much of that. Uh, I didn't get down on the ball. Yeah, why? Look. It was too low. Look at the head. Now, were you trying to hit down? Yes. You were. Okay, so you, your footwork was right, but you didn't have the racket high in the windshield like you it is. Be up here. My rocket head has to be above my wrist. So here's the way you should think about it. And your dad pointed this out on the phone today. It was a good observation. You're taking the racket back too level. Look at me. Look at my back when I take it back. What do you notice? See how cocked up it is? Now look, I'm in a position now. I can hit a windshield wiper. I can hit a slice. Or I can drop and hit a hit. So he was doing what you said. He was yep. taking it back too square. He's got to take it back high. That way he's in position to knife it, knife right. it down or drop it. Yeah, he's not hand. getting that little bit of hook spin off the high ball, right. too, where you come yeah. over the top right. a little bit. Because the head's too low, yep. from what you were saying. And he, so that was a good observation. You understand that? Yeah. Get the racket head up now. Get it up high. That's it. Now lean forward. You need to come forward on the right leg. That racket head was good. There you go. See it? Yeah, anything that's inside is going to be with the right leg. That's all. Here's the way to remember it, Dylan. Any time you go forward, even if it's from the baseline, look, if I go forward to the ball, I'll leave it right there. Walk me right here, look. If I go this way, I don't. Yeah, you can't go sideways or backwards. Right. You got it? Yeah. So, Ted, that's the key. If he's in the triangle, any time right. he's going forward, he's going to leave it down there. Yep. Even if it's from way back here. It's not just a pro shot. Any ball going forward, even if it's one step. All right, let me see the backhand now. Leave with the left leg. Okay, hold up. Even though that went in, I'm going to imitate your backswing and tell me what you see. Here's your backswing. Look. What's wrong with this? Look at mine. Look, see, he's got to get that in there. Yep. It's all in this wrist angle. See this hinge? Look, look at my wrist hinge. Look. It's got to be cocked up on all backswings. That's what a loop is. And then from there, I can windshield wipe it or drop the hinge and come up. You're taking it back level on all, so you're not getting either one. You're not getting a hinge, you're not getting a windshield wiper. You're just going back and forward. It's exactly what you told me on the phone. Yep. So the key is... I see it, John. I just can't get him out of it. All right, so here's how you get out of it. I'm giving you the key. Here's the key. Cock the wrist up. Look at my wrist on my backswing. Look. Look at my wrist on my forehand. See it? You look at any great pro... You all have the wrist cocked up. So they can take it high and come over it or drop it under. Okay? So that's the remedy, Ted. Okay. See the angle? Yep. Right here, these tendons. See the left wrist tendon for the backhand, the right wrist tendon for the forehand. Yep. Okay? You understand that or not? Okay, right.